judgment. And uh, those who have already died and turned into ash during the COVID season, we turned the bodies into ash and given a space to rust. But now that the concept of single grave is disappeared. Single grave, graveyard, single grave disappeared. Maybe you'll get a small space in the wall of the church, like niches. So uh, turn into ash. Or maybe last uh, week, landslide happened in Vainat. 500, 600 people buried. Nobody knows where, the, where is their graveyard. So our graveyard or our grave, where we are going to be buried, this world, anywhere, somewhere, maybe in the sea, maybe in the sea, or maybe in the belly of the fish, and going to be in the bottom of the sea, or maybe in a forest, or maybe because of a landslide, under the ground, a few meters down, we do not know. Or maybe animals eaten up, animals are eaten up, or maybe something else happened, or a heavy thunder happened, bodies into, smashed into different parts, nobody can recognize it. So that is not so much of importance. This world, this earth, some place we will be buried. Naturally or better naturally, we will be covered. But when this happened, First Thessalonians chapter 4, 17, Jesus comes, there will be a bugle sound. When the bugle sound happened, that time only you have to believe that second coming has come. When I say second coming, don't believe it. If it is announced in the newspaper or TV or television, don't believe. Because 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 13 says, 1 Corinthians 15, uh, 53. 1 Corinthians 15, 53. 1, 5, 5, 3. In the last moment, then there will be a sound of a bugle. One angel will come to this world and a bugle sound, and all people will hear it. Those who are buried, or in the sea, or in the air, or in the fire, where, what, wherever it be, suddenly they will get back their body. They will get back their body. So this is a perishable body. This is a perishable body. Must be put on imperishability. And this mortal body must put on immortality. Immortality. So it is good that we have to read from verse 51 onwards. 1 Corinthians 15:51. Listen, I will tell you a mystery now. All of you listen. I tell you a mystery. All of you read. Listen, I will tell you a mystery. We will not all die, but will all be changed. So keep on this word. First Corinthians 15, 51. Some people will not die. That means that time is the bugle blown and the second coming happened some of their some of the people living in that time none of them will die so there are people who will not taste death in this world these are the people who are living at the time of the second coming of jesus so bible says some of you will not die some of you will not die jesus said to john also regarding him to peter let him live until i come what is the problem with you peter asked what about this man? What will happen to him? No, what is your problem, Peter? Let him live until I come. So, some of the people will not have death. If the second coming happened this evening, some of you will not die. I will not die, but I will be changed. When it will be changed? 52. First Corinthians 15, 52. In a moment, all of you, all of you, uh, read together. In a moment, in the tingling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised, imperishable. Dead will be risen, imperishable. And we will be changed. Thank you, Jesus. So until this bugle sound it makes by an angel, don't believe that this is the last time. There are pre preachers who are preaching end times. 
listen what they preach but don't count it that it is going to happen now when it is going to happen end time preaching any time can happen but we prepare ourselves how to prepare only one thing trust in god jesus mary joseph help us that's enough don't trust in other things trust in jesus mary and joseph trust in god almighty trust in god almighty then some people think oh jesus also prayed to god then he may not be god how many of you have that confusion jesus prayed to whom if he is a god he has to pray to himself or no need of having a prayer why jesus prayed to his father is it god or not god keep on lifting up your hands some people also confused you if jesus is god almighty to whom he has prayed why he has prayed keep on lifting up your hands the mystery says bible says jesus is god but father son and holy spirit three persons are one god father is god son is god holy spirit is god father has specific duties son has specific duties holy spirit has specific duties both three are three of them together working father's plan plan is done or created by father god not the jesus christ so according to that plan jesus consulting his father father tell me what is your plan he knows it but he wants to have confirmation then father also father god also praying to jesus my son logos is praying now you have promised when you call on your name you will help go and help so father god has a plan to heal you through jesus christ father god may not come directly and heal you that is the work of jesus so father requesting the son my son go to logos now go to logos since in australia africa america europe asia oceana people are listening now from five continents or seven continents <laughs> this message jesus giving this message father asking jesus my son heal everybody all those who are listening now why father doing that way father is god but asking jesus because that is the portfolio of jesus keep on lifting up your hands don't think it in the, like in the division of labor or principle of subsidiarity don't think in that way all have their own functions and whole, but they can overlap it also no problem at all but generally not overlapping holy spirit has an a function father god praying to holy spirit holy spirit give inspiration and mysteries to father jose and reveal it or give it to this mysteries revealed to all that is work of the holy spirit so father god praying to holy spirit holy spirit praying to the father father what is your plan about this man so they have portfolios they are working together knowing each other what they are doing it that's why jesus asking the father father this is your work then father god said jesus this is your work you have to do it so both of the marin or three of the marin mutual consultation mutual support three are in one three persons one god that's why we have seen this kind of prayer support mutual support father god can do everything but he will not do it jesus can do everything but he will not do it holy spirit can do everything but he will not do it that's why we have to live in our family father mother children consult each other live it together all have their own functions keep on lifting up your hands father can do everything but he will not do it he has to ask the wife to do something you have to ask and uh, wife cannot do everything he can she can do she is very capable capable than the husband capable than the children but she will not do it la ask the children to do it children also can do many things but the children may not do it ask the father to do it ask the mother to do it so they are one father mother children one one family one unit holy trinity is one jesus mary joseph there is a unity father god jesus and holy spirit one unity now lift up your hands and pray jesus you have taken human body to be identified 
with us to be identified with us you have taken our human nature into you to sanctify it transform this human nature and help us to live in paradise today onwards hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus now keep our hands down how to live in the paradise till the second coming of jesus life in the church is life in the kingdom of god life in the church is life in the kingdom of god catechism book article 680 all of you repeat catholic church teaches in catechism book 680 those who are in the church are in the kingdom of god and the church governs everything in this world but not all amen so what you consecrate daily that will be under the dominion of god rest of the things are under the dominion of the evil till the second coming of jesus so what we have to do now live a life according to the word of god and the magisterial teaching you are in the kingdom you are in the paradise then i try to live a life according to this book when i see that there is a mistake by following this bible if i have a mistake i go for confession then i read the magisterial teaching what the church teaches and i not look into the priest or bishops or somebody what they are doing it no what the church says that's my concern what the church says so i follow the teachings of the church literally that's why we have a mission in logos lift up your hands what is the mission of logos logos stands for proclamation of the word of god all of you say logos stands for proclamation of the word of god by using the gift of the holy spirit according to the magisterial teachings of the catholic church amen so how to live in the kingdom by following the word of god read it understand it live it and read the magisterial teaching read it practice it don't look to here and there what holy father says listen but there is an official magisterium of the church and uh, what the holy father declares we have to follow and what our bishop uh, says we have to follow what our pastors saying that we have to follow but basically two pillars we all have to live in the kingdom two pillars magisterial teaching the so all have their own limitations magisterial teachings that we have to follow and also the bible full according to the interpretation given by jesus you are living in the kingdom and in the paradise that's the sum and substance of my preaching this morning praise the lord how can be in the kingdom now by living a life according to the word of god and also according to the magisterial teaching then those who are teaching according to the bible according to the magisterial teaching whoever it be you have to follow that person's direction suppose your pastor or your priest not giving you message from the bible nor from the magisterial teaching is not at all in synchronization with the bible or magisterial teaching you have no right to follow it what you have to follow bible and magisterial teaching of the catholic church so we have to read nearly 15 books to understand what is the magisterial teaching in this book family and financial healing this book is available in our bookstore and the last part the reference books to live according to the magisterial teaching there are magisterial teachings are given the reference in this book the last page 15 reference sessions are there and the priest bishops holy father all are following these teachings teachings and new teachings will come out as a complementary teachings of these revealed or already expressed message something like a complementary message 
anything is contradictory to Bible or this magisterial teaching, St. Paul says, Galatians 1.8, even though an angel comes and telling you, let that angel be cursed, you don't follow it. You will be deceived. Even if an angel coming from heaven and teaching something against this Bible, against the magisterial teaching, let that angel be cursed. You have no right to follow it. Amen. If I start teaching, not according to the Bible, not according to the magisterial teaching, something contrary to the Bible or magisterial teaching, you have no right to follow my message. But if I teach you according to the Bible, according to the magisterium, I try to live according to the Bible, according to the magisterium. When I come to know that, that is not the right thing, I wrongly followed or I am not following it fully, I confess, I do penance and I reconcile with magisterium and the church and I continue. That's the way I try to live in the kingdom of God. Then I have seen whatever I have asked personally, I have received it for my personal use. I have received it. Whatever I have asked for other people in intercession for the Logosians, 98 percentage of people are healed and blessed. 98. Two percentage, I have not seen anything um, visible, anything visible. Might be received unknown blessings, I don't know. But manifestations not happened. 98 percentage of the people are healed when they come to Logos. Autistic children are healed. Depressed are healed. Sinners are turned into saints. Two percentage not having seen such kind of external manifestations. Internal manifestations may happen. But I didn't see 100 percentage of the blessing when I pray for other people. 98 percentage I have seen. 100 percentage of my prayers, personal prayers or personal request answered. Then I think that because I decided lifelong to live a life according to Bible and according to these 15 magisterial resources. This is a source. So many books in it. Many books are there. Many sessions are there. Many more teachings are going to come also. Post conciliar or Vatican document or Vatican uh, doc, uh, council. After that, there are many teachings officially declared. That's all part of it. Then I am prayers are answered. Then I know that I am living in the kingdom of God. And whenever I die, I have a confirmation that I will live in paradise today. And also, when Jesus comes in his second coming, I will be caught up in mid-air. And there, Jesus will separate good and bad. And uh, to the people who have opted for the kingdom of devil, my children, you have opted not for me, for the kingdom. Please go and occupy what you have opted. My children, Logosians, who have opted for me, please come to my father's kingdom. According to our decision, it will be rewarded. It will be granted. All of you may stand up now. I hope that all of you are in paradise. Don't try to be walk outside of the paradise. Some people are just walking the periphery of the paradise. Whether I have to enter or not to enter. Enter or not to enter. One leg is inside the church, another leg is in the fortico. To go or to sit. Or enter or not enter. Lift up your hands now. Don't be hesitant to enter in the kingdom. Wonderful things will happen in your life. Lung infection and lung paralysis. Three persons are healed, those who are not here, but they are healed. They are in ventilator. Now they are healed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Lifting up your hands and pray together. Jesus, my Lord and Master, have mercy on me. Jesus, I trust in your mercy. Help me, Lord, to live in paradise today onwards. Until you come again. Hands with your hands on your chest and look at Jesus in this crucifix. Acts chapter 1, 11. Acts chapter 1, 11. The last message given by Jesus through two angels. Some people say these are the two in white robes. 
Joseph and Mary. Some people say two angels. Some people say Moses and Elijah. We do not know. Two uh, angels. Men of Galilee. Two men came in, or two persons, not men or women, it's not mentioned. Two persons came in white robe and said, Men of Galilee, now men of Logos, why do you are standing looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven today, will come in the same way through heaven, through white clouds, same way, and you saw him as you saw how he is taken up in clouds. He will come back in clouds as he has gone up. This is a last promise. Before that, that you have to sit here and pray. Power will come upon Jesus said. This is after the ascension, final message from the side of Jesus. I will come again. The two types of coming, Maranatha, daily coming, last coming. Daily, Jesus comes. Book of Revelation 22, 12. Alas, I am coming soon. I am coming, coming. My reward is in my hand. Now you are going to get that reward. The reward that the Lord gives you. Now you are going to have the reward. This is called a daily or coming of Jesus always. Perennial coming of our Lord. One type of presence of Jesus in this world. My reward is in my hand. So he is here with us. According to this word, he is here with us. Daily he comes to your prayer room. Daily he comes and visit you. When you sit and asking to Jesus directly, as I said, I pray directly. But I also get pastor's prayer. So now you are here to get pastor's prayer. Your prayers will be answered. Some prayers will not be answered. That will be answered through the pastor's prayer. Genesis chapter um, 20 verse 17. Through the me mediumship or intermediumship of some people who are selected. Through that prayer, rest of the prayers will be answered. Many of your prayers are already answered when you prayed directly to Jesus. Some of the prayers according to Genesis 20, 17 will be answered in Logos only when I pray. Now I pray. Jesus comes daily, always. And last coming means, after that, the daily coming will not be there. He will be here in person and we will rule with Jesus, govern the world together with Jesus. And those who are opted for devil and his kingdom, they will go to his kingdom, live there eternally. Those who are opted for Jesus, this world will be turned as paradise. This world will be turned as paradise. Now it is the church or kingdom of God. It will be turned a paradise at the coming of Jesus. You and I will be in the paradise. So life in the world, even though it is destroyed several times, it will be reconstituted by Jesus. This world is also eternal after the second coming of Jesus. You are also eternal along with Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray over cancer patients. Those who are suffering with cancer, let them be healed. Those who are afflicted with the cataract, let them be healed. Place your hand where you have the sickness. The Lord may touch you now and he may melt blocks in your heart, blocks in your lungs, blocks in your brain. Jesus, touch them and heal them. Jesus, touch them and heal all their diseases. Extend your hands towards Jesus. Where you placed your hand, there the healing power of Jesus manifested. Extend your hands towards Jesus. If you have some special prayer intentions today, through this pastor's prayer, you are going to get the answer of your prayers now. That's why you are here in Logos. Those who have intentions, extend your hands and pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord may give answer of this particular intention that you have in your mind. Let this intention be fulfilled. And I pray over Logosians away from this place who are at home and in different places. Your prayers also be answered now. Amen. Your intentions are fulfilled. Sixteen autistic children are become normal. Thank you, Jesus. Now, 64 cancer patients are being healed.
different types of cancer. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. So your special prayer intention is fulfilled today. Thank you, Lord.